Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You know, I had prepared remarks, but I'm going to go off of them a little bit. I want to speak about my colleague and friend, Eric Swalwell's remarks about feeding the beast. I, I can't let it go. You want to know what the beast is? The beast is the invasion of people's personal rights, their freedoms. And when it's done by agencies, the beast is even bigger. The beast is the invasion of their security. The beast is when, when we require, when a standing subcommittee of the Judiciary Committee requires and requests documentation over and over again, and we don't get it. And if we weren't concerned about how much of it we were going to redact, if we weren't concerned that we didn't want the committee members to know, perhaps it would move a whole lot faster. This isn't about raw abuse of politics. Quite frankly, this isn't about Donald Trump or any one individual person. It's about the misuse of agencies. And we've had an FBI director who has admitted that it has happened right before this committee. We've had an attorney general who's admitted it. We have John Durham who did a report on it. We know it exists. Ben Franklin said anybody that is willing to give up freedom for security deserves neither. The beast is $42 million that we spend on a secret program uh, for confidential human sources that has hurt good people. That's the beast. That's the beast that we fear. That's why we have so much concern. That's why we have so many requests. This is serious stuff. It's about the very essence of this republic. So, Mr. Dunham, since the beginning of the Biden administration, our committee has been actively engaged in overseeing the actions of the FBI. And in doing so, we have made numerous requests for documents and information regarding a number of issues regarding the Bureau's actions, their activities, and their operations. And we have continued issues obtaining said, some, such documents. We still have the problem. In, in areas we have gotten particularly little response, I mentioned confidential human source program, which we know has gone awry. We've proven that numerous times. Even the FBI has admitted it. On September 19th, the committee wrote to 2023 Director Christopher Wray seeking clarity on the FBI's use of CHSs. Despite receiving an estimated $42 million of every man and woman who pays taxes in this country, the program is pretty much secretive. It's unacceptable to me. It's unacceptable. What we do know only comes from select testimony. What we do know comes from the Durham report, both of which were highly critical of the program. This is not a Republican talking point. It's not a Jeff Van Drew talking point. It is what we know and have found out. It is fact. Given these concerns, I have to wonder why the FBI has not addressed our requests and more thoroughly. So, and briefly, because I'm going to run out of time, which steps have the FBI taken so far to provide the committee with the outstanding information requested September 19th, 2023 letter? What have they done? Please bullet it out. Not a long, vague thing. I want to know direct answers. What steps have you taken? Sure. Uh, thank you, Congressman. Uh, so we've, we've provided uh, some information already on this topic. Uh, earlier this year, we provided a, a letter in response to the committee that detailed some information about our CHSs. Uh, we had the assistant director of our counterterrorism division come up earlier this year and brief the committee, and uh, he discussed uh, uh, the CHS program a little bit during that briefing. We had six individuals who were uh, come before the committee for transcribed interviews who got to this uh, issue of, uh, of CHSs. And we're aware of the committee's additional uh, requests, and we're working through them, and I hope to have information Thank as soon you. as so possible. Let me, because, you know, I'm a simple guy here, and so I just want a simple yes or no. Can you commit to providing the committee with the outstanding requests for information contained in the September 19th by December 14th of this year? We've been working on it a while. There's no reason that we can't do this. You say you have a lot of people on it. Can you commit to that? Yes or no? I'll commit to providing the information as soon as we possibly can. Can you do it by December 14th? I, I, I have to 
figure out where these why, why can't the you do it by December 14th? We've, this has been going on for a while. I understand that. We've been providing a lot of responses to the committee. We've provided 30 responses this year already on six. I can give you a commitment. We want it by December 14th. I understand that, and I commit to you that we will provide it as soon as possible. That's not the answer I wanted. I yield back.